What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Tonight we're checking out Shiny again, uh, and their next title track in our journey is Everybody. Uh, I was thinking about something uh, the other night, uh, and I want to ask you guys, I want to make sure that we're doing their not only their title tracks in order, but I also want to make sure that we're we're making sure to check out their solos as well. So I need you guys to let me know when those solos are coming. I don't think we're there yet, but I, I believe Taman's first. So let me know so that way I can I can make sure to check it out in that order. So whatever the MV is uh, or whatever the uh, title track is, uh, let me know before the next one so that we can we can make sure that we check it out. So I don't think we're there yet, but. All right, let's check this out. This is Shiny with Everybody. The last song was, uh, I'll put a link to my reaction there, uh, and you can check that out. But I definitely uh, had thoughts about it. But let's see what they have for us this time. This is Shiny with Everybody. Oh. Oh. Oh shit. Okay, holy fuck. Are we on the freaking Death Star? What the hell is this set? Okay, any anyway, anyway. What is that type of electronic music called? That whole intro section. To me, I'm just old school. It's all just electronic music to me. But EDM, dubstep, hardstyle, drum and bass, I have no fucking idea. But what is that? Because I'm definitely not crazy about it. Out of all of them, that one drives me crazy because it's always just just what we heard. Just, just all big for no reason and just, I don't know. I'm just not a fan. So I'm assuming that's what this is going to entail, unless that was just an intro. But we're about to find out. But let me know what that is called, because I never have known, but I have heard it before. So, okay, let's see. We're on the Death Star with in white suits. All right, let's go back a little bit and let it vibe in. Whoa. SM's going to act up in this, aren't they? Oh, that was cool. Yeah. Whoop, 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 whoop. So you're just gonna buy. You're just gonna bypass Zhang Hyun. You're gonna flash his face, and then you're gonna start with Taemin, and then you're gonna make Zhang Hyun be second. Where the hell is Anu gonna come in? <clears throat> obviously, it doesn't matter what order, and obviously Taemin has really, really been so impressive, and the improvement, and oh, I don't even say improvement, uh, the development that he's had so far has been great, right? Well deserved. It's just an interesting thing because obviously the order of of the um of the parts is all by design. So Jong Hyun couldn't make the last video, even though he is in the song. He's back and he is second. So does that that doesn't uh, Anu can't come in third. I don't know. I might be overthinking it, but it's just it's just they've gotten me so used to Jong Hyun Anu, and then all of a sudden uh, Taemin starts some songs. So. Very interesting. Okay, all right, let's go back a little bit and let it vibe in. He sounds great. And you know that man sounds great. It's Mino. Mino. And then key. So Anu all of a sudden is going to be fifth? Interesting. Interesting. Okay. First of all, Mino. So like I said, I've been just, we're just been used to Jong Hyun, Anu, and then whatever variation of the guys after them. Right? 
But Mino, I feel like I've never heard him third. And he sounded really, really good. Let's go back. That was a really nice switch up in tone and vibe. Uh, let's go back and hear this again. Very nice, Mino. And then Key. And then a very short part for Anu. Interesting. What the hell is that look? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why is that giving me Big Bang vibes? That whole shirtless with the freaking big fur coat. And some of the, it seems like, I don't know why, it's probably the styling, the glamour shots of the guys, right? The beauty shots uh, of the guys are very boy groupy. It's very XO vibe, and I don't know why. I think it's the styling, uh, but very interesting. It's not something I feel like I've seen from them before. Obviously, they're a boy group, and they do boy group things, but they do boy group things from an era where I just, uh, I was... uh a fan of boy groups, right? Uh, I've told you all this before. I just didn't carry on into the late 90s and 2000s boy groups. Uh, I guess, well, actually, I think they were gone by 2000s. Uh, but I just didn't carry on to the instinct uh, uh, era and all that stuff. But it's interesting because I'm feeling they're doing, they're giving me shiny, like here in the choreo sections. But then they're doing those flashes in the pan, those glamour shots that are very exo boy group style. Which is interesting. Okay, all right, let's go back a little bit. I still don't know how I feel about the song, but I feel like I'm liking it. So let's go back a little bit. Mino. Yeah, I don't like that look for them. Are we toy soldiers now? With the video game sounds? Okay, Anu's first. Ooh, and Key. And Mino keeps the third. And Taman. I gotta say it, it finally just hit me. I just got the chills for some reason. So they basically just flipped everything around except Mino kept the third section because it's a total vibe. Wow, how high are they in the air? Holy shit. Anyway, wow, this is super impressive. And it, it struck me when Key got his second part there, or when he got the second part there. This song. Feels like a transition for them. And you guys let me know. Because obviously, like I've said, Jong Hyun, Anu, they're the ones that just kick your face in. They, they're they the ones that suck you in. And everybody else is cool and vibey. Uh, and they do their thing, right? But th in this song, it feels all even, right? Like they are all equally as impressive. And don't take that wrong. It doesn't mean that they were less impressive in the other songs, the other members. But in this one, I don't know if it's the songwriting itself. Uh, they're all getting similar parts, and they're singing with similar attacks. Uh, so that could be it as well. But they're all performing at that same level as well. Uh, so I don't know. It could be the simplicity in the verses themselves and the melodies themselves. But I don't want to take away from them. Like it is, It is definitely their performance. This is the first song that I'm feeling, like I said, that even playing field between all of them. Nobody's outshining anyone else. They all sound super, super good, which is cool. 
The other thing I'm wondering, too, is Mino's got those two sections, and they're very important sections, and they are a very important contrast from the rest of the song. I'm wondering if he's going to get a rap section in the song because I don't feel like I want him to. Uh, but uh, I don't know why I feel that, but I don't know that I want him to. So, all right, let's go back a little bit and let it vibe in. See what the bridge is. And, yeah, I'm not crazy about this look at all for them. It just feels like I said a little too new boy groupy, but okay. All right, let's uh start here. <laughs> That was cool. And the guy liner I just noticed. What the hell is that choreo? Yes, sir. Yeah, they're super powerful in this song. Yeah, that look, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> I got chills. That was so sick. And there's no rap part, right? There's no rap part in this. I love it. I mean, if you're not awake by now, then you're probably dead. Wow. That was very interesting. And very powerful. And it took me a minute to, to realize what was going on or what, I was, what was actually hitting me as powerful about it. Because it's a typical SM freaking just... Just just SM doing SM. But it's bigger than that. Like like I said, th just the vibe that I'm getting, this feels like a transition to me. Like this is the first time that they've all felt that big and powerful. Like it was so impressive, so strong, and it wasn't just the song. Obviously, part of it is the song because it's the, it's what's you know what they're singing is is allowing them to show that. But all the performances within that song were super strong. And now I can see why even more all the positioning and the part uh, selection, uh, the line distribution was set up the way it was. It was like, okay, well, we've gotten you used to this certain thing, right? Guess what? They're all capable of doing any section. And they just did it. They scrambled it up. They all sounded amazing in what they did. And... There was no rap section. Mino, obviously, is the rapper. That's usually like you're waiting for his part to come on. He didn't do that, meaning they wanted to showcase the power of their vocals, which is awesome because he obviously sounded great. They all sounded great. Wow. And yeah, that song, I love it. It's playlist. It's a bit much just because of the whoop, whoop, whoop shit, but it doesn't really matter because... Like once you're in it, you're like you're just you're going along for the ride. I don't know if that intro is part of the song. I'm hoping it's not, but whatever. If it is, you know, it's it's ten seconds, whatever, fifteen seconds, doesn't matter. But the rest of the song, all those parts were understated enough uh, that it didn't bother me too much. But yeah, it's playlist for sure. Wow, wow. And I also did find a dance practice uh, of this, and I'm gonna watch that in Discord later tonight. So if you guys are in there, pop in. 
uh anytime I, you'll see me in a voice channel in our discord if you're up just pop in and say hi like we're not doing anything we're just sitting around just just uh uh just talking so and it's always about k-pop so all right either way this is playlist if you enjoy this content please like subscribe comment and i'll see you next time peace